Incidents on Thursday and Friday prompted an MU alert to warn students of possible threats near campus. We're looking into the MU alert system. Good evening. I'm Marissa Holloway. And I'm Joey Parker. Some students tell us they didn't receive the alert. Others say they did. ABC 17's Jillian Furtick has been talking with MU officials to find out how effective the system is. She's joining us from campus. And Jillian, they wouldn't do on-camera interviews with you, but they did send you an email. Yes, Joey. First, I talked to an MUPD captain. He then referred me to the MU News Bureau. Officials tell me, like you said, they couldn't do an interview on camera, but they say there are several reasons while some why some students may not have received that alert. It started Thursday night when some MU students received this text message. An active threat near campus with no location. The location wasn't added until later, and the location was changed shortly after it was released. An MU alert was sent out after police say students saw someone in a car possibly holding a gun driving near this dorm. Then on Friday night, police were called here to Hit Street in Cherry where they found a shell casing. ABC 17 News learned Thursday night not all students received the first text alert. And the information provided on the MU website for the location of the threat was changed later in the evening. After shots were fired near campus Friday, another alert was sent out. And information about the location of the suspect car was later changed. I reached out to MUPD but was told I needed to talk to the MU News Bureau about the MU alert. A university spokesman said he was unavailable for an on-camera interview but sent me an email with alert tips for students. According to the university, if a student did not receive a text alert, officials say they need to check to make sure information, including their cell phone number, is correctly entered on their MyZoo page. Secondly, they say to make sure the opt-in option is selected. If that doesn't work, you're encouraged to call the help desk at this number. The university tells me to, that in the past they've had some issues with cell service providers, and if that's believed to be the case, the university says it'll work with the students. We still haven't been told, though, tonight why the, that information that was put out last week was later changed. Reporting live in Columbia tonight, Jillian Furtick, ABC 17 News. And some students have told us they learned about the Thursday threat near campus through Twitter. So far, no arrests have been made in either case. Right now, we are.